after every operation, it's kind of like business as usual. You know, we, you know, there's, there's airstrikes, there's rockets, there's a ceasefire, uh, civilians are killed, populations are radicalized, and the cycle continues. We essentially kick the can down the road. Uh, and the status quo will always produce more violence. That's something we need to remember. The status quo will always produce more violence. This seems like a level uh, to where we won't just kick the can down the road, um, where it will actually be a paradigm shift. Now, unfortunately, the, the government, I don't trust to create a paradigm shift that is going to be um, long-term beneficial for peace between both sides, or that won't um, cause immense amount of civilian harm, specifically to one side. It seems like that's a likely, likely outcome. Um, I'd like to think that potentially a paradigm shift here can be peace, right? Um, but as much of an optimist as I am, I don't have high hopes that that's what's going to happen. Um, so it's going to take weeks, maybe even months until we, we better understand. Um, many people are... Many people are saying it's time to just destroy Hamas. If only it was that easy, it would have been done. Uh, to destroy Hamas means to either destroy all of Gaza, which will cause millions of civilian deaths, or it means doing a ground invasion, which will take many months and take... It's unclear if that's even a, a viable mission. Um, to, give, to, to, to just give a, a comparison, remember the war in Iraq. It took, I think, a week or two till we captured Baghdad. And then there's that famous speech George Bush made with the mission accomplished uh, sign behind him. Very few soldiers were killed to capture Baghdad. Uh, but in the years after, the U.S. dealt with insurgency and thousands of soldiers were killed. Israel would face something similar trying to uh, overtake Gaza. And that's why it hasn't been done. It's unclear that, it, that it's viable and it's unclear it's worth the cost of life. Um, I'm seeing other people say that Israel should give Palestinians the, the opportunity to evacuate into uh, Egypt and then flatten Gaza. Is that realistic? I don't know. Um, again, I'm not sharing what I think should happen. I'm trying to share all the potential outcomes.